Blake is always special because we don't do it that much. And um, we, he was sharing with me his story about when his brother passed away um, when he was 24 and Blake was 14. And um, just telling me about the experience and talking about memories of Richie. And um, we started writing this song, and it, it was really a great moment between us. It was like something, it was sort of like we moved to a deeper level. You know, we were watching uh, TV one night on our bus, and this has been uh, probably a year ago. We were flipping through the channels, and, and on GAC, where they were re-airing uh, my backstory, and it was at the part where my dad was talking about my brother's car accident he was killed in, and, and he said on there, you know, you don't ever get over something like that. You just get used to it, you know, and, and uh, we turned the TV off, and Miranda never had a chance to meet my brother. You know, I was just a teenager when that happened, and... And uh, so I was telling her about him and what he was like, and, and uh, we just ended up, like we do sometimes, writing a song. I think the most, most emotional part of the song was when we were writing it. You know, we both actually cried while writing the song, and that's the only time I've ever gotten that emotional writing a song, and him too. So I think the initial emotion came out right that day, and I think that's you hear it in the, in the lyrics. Your favorite records make me feel that's, uh, that's one of the things I got uh, when my brother was killed was the family gave me all of his albums and things like that, you know, and just listened to him over and over again made me feel like he was there, you know. I'm probably more proud of that song than I am of anything I've, I've accomplished in, uh, you know, my career because uh, that's, to me, is uh, that's what I'm supposed to do as a country artist and country songwriter is take a, a real-life situation that, that is emotional and make it into music.